Hello, welcome again to the next lesson of Wooden Flow. My name is Alina Zanishel. Here with Habuman Gabriel Devot. We are both trainers at the Yativet School. In the last video, we selected pieces. Let's now proceed with preparation of pieces and production of drawings. Enjoy the lesson. Hello everyone, my name is Seti Munya Irbe, the carpentry trainer at the Rwanda Tibet School. So we are going to continue with the preparation of the materials and joints production. The objectives of this lesson is that later you will be able to prepare the materials with different machines appropriately. Later, you will also be able to mark the drawings on those prepared materials. And finally, you will be able to produce the drawings that uh, we will use, especially on the pranks of the wooden floor. I would like to ask you to follow away and take notes where it is necessary so that later, if you, if you are going to do this work on your own, you can even do it easily. As usual, when the selection of the timbers is done, the next thing that we do is to prepare those timbers on the machines. That's why from here we are going uh, to do the rough cutting, rough cross cutting of the pieces. We print them on the surface, print on the thickness so that we get the thickness that we need. Later, we we'll cut them on the circular saw, and then uh, we print them on the final width, and then finally we we'll produce the drawing. As always, then, when we are in the workshop, we we'll have to respect the safety use of the machines and we have to use PPE. Firstly, we need to mark the work pieces roughly. There, we use the dimensions that we have on the wood catalog plus some more millimeters. In case the work piece has got a bow, we orient that bow in the upright direction to avoid the jamming of the saw blade, which will result to the kickback. The flip cutting of pieces is made to reduce the width of the pieces to the size which is near to the one which is needed.
draining and drenching of the pranks will be done to assure that later we will get the straight pieces with the right angle. You need to measure well the size of the piece before you plane it with the thicknesser as it has the capacity to remove 2 mm per one pass. During the preparation of the pieces of the wooden floor, we need also to produce the drawings, especially on the pranks, so that they can be able to fit in a strong way. So that's why you have different drawings. And with these pieces I have, I will try to show you uh, some drawings that you will use on the wooden floor, especially when you want to connect the pranks. The first way that you can use it is the rabbit drawing. You connect pieces by using the rabbit drawing. The rabbit drawing, you do the rabbit on one piece, you do the rabbit on another piece, and then you connect them. The next one that we might have, it is rose tongue or spring drawing. So with this drawing, we just make a slot on one piece and then we make a slot on another piece and to connect them, we have to use this piece which is called the spline. The spline can be a piece of plywood that you have to cut according to the depth of the slots or you cut a piece of wood. You just have to make sure that it is strong enough so that it cannot break. And then you will have to connect the pieces together. The next connection and the strongest connection that you have in a wooden flooring is tongue and groove. The tongue and groove, we have the tongue and you have the groove. So and then the joint will fit in this way. So it's really a strong connection. So it's even the drawing that we will use on the wooden floor uh, that we are going to, to, to install or to build. There are other many different connections, but these are uh, most of the connections that we will need to use in case you are connecting the planks. Now as the pieces are produced, we are going to make tongue and groove drawing. What we need to do is just mark the pieces so that we know later 
where will be the top and the bottom because this helps us, this help us in the, the, the proper fitting of the drawing. So I will just put the marking on the top so that I know this when I'm passing the pieces uh, on the machine, just to avoid the confusion. We will first produce tank and then later we, we, we change the knives and then we produce the groove. As the tank is done, next is to produce the groove. We first have to change the knives and then we can proceed. Adjust the machine in a proper way and put the appropriate speed before you restart in order to maintain the personal safety and the safety of the equipment.
Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Once again, we have learned a lot from this. As usual, you can find this video on the e-learning website of Rwanda Polytechnic for more repetition. We welcome you again for the next session. Until then, stay safe and goodbye. goodbye.